We've all got gallons of blood flowing through our veins, but not necessarily the same type of blood. But why do people have different blood types? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. In case you didn't know, there are four main blood types. Type A is the oldest and even existed before humans. Blood types B, AB, and O were all formed by genetic mutations over millions of years. Your blood type can also be positive or negative based on whether your blood has an extra protein in it. So that means, all in all, there's eight distinct blood types. A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive, and O negative. Over 70% of people have either A positive or O positive blood. Blood types are super important because if you ever need a blood transfusion, getting the right type can literally mean life or death. You see, your blood is really good at fighting off cells that aren't supposed to be there. And that includes blood cells of a different type than your own. If you get an infusion with the wrong blood type, your body will go into defense mode and destroy the brand new blood cells. This can make you sicker and can even lead to death. But that doesn't necessarily mean some blood types can't mix. Type A blood doesn't mix with B, so getting type B or AB blood is bad news. But you'd be perfectly fine with type A or O. The same goes for type B. It doesn't mix well with type A, so people with type B blood can only receive type B or O. Type AB blood has it good because they can receive any blood type, A, B, AB, or O, and be totally fine. Type O is known as the universal donor because you can give it to anyone with any blood type. That makes them great for giving blood, but it also means they can only receive type O. Okay, so all that begs the question, why do humans have so many blood types? Well, researchers don't know for sure, but it seems the main reason is to fend off disease. For instance, people with type O blood are much less likely to get malaria and suffer from its symptoms. And that blood type is very widespread in areas like Africa, where malaria is common. People with type O blood are more likely to get the bubonic plague, and people with type A blood are more likely to get smallpox. So since areas like China, India, and Russia have had major outbreaks of both diseases, they have lots of people with type B blood. So, does it really matter much what blood type you have? Nope, not really. The only time in life that your blood type really matters is when there's experts there to help. And now you know why people have different blood types. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And remember to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.